Okay, so <clears throat> so now the differential df is just equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to r times the differential dr plus the partial derivative of f with respect to theta times the differential d theta plus the partial differential of f with respect to phi times d phi times the uh, differential d phi. Now remember, f is a function of r theta and phi, and so this is an explicit um, equality. And um, if you look at this, then we see that this also is uh, equivalent to um, the gradient of f dotted the inner product of the gradient of f with the, di the, uh, the differential um, position dr, okay? And so, um, and because you have df dr, so these are the two, these are the, the two uh, r components, these are the two theta components, and these are the two phi components, okay? So, um, if we explicitly write out what, uh, in, in general I should say, what a, you know, a dot product of two different vectors are, right, it's the, it's the, um, in this case we're talking about r theta and phi r basis, and so we have um, the r component of the gradient of f times the r component of, uh, or dotted with the r component of um, of uh, the uh, differential dr plus the theta component of the gradient of f dotted with the theta component of the differential dr um, plus the phi component of the gradient um, dotted with the phi component of the differential r sine theta d phi. Okay? And so what we can do then is we can identify if we compare this expression with this one then we see that um, the uh, this differ this uh, differ this uh, derivative partial derivative dfdr uh, must be equal to um, the the r component of the gradient so the r component of the gradient is equal to partial of f with respect to r. The theta component, though, has an r in there. So we have d theta, we have d theta, and so df d theta is equal to r times the the theta component of the of the gradient. And so we just um, we want the theta component of the gradient, so we divide by r, and also the uh, partial of f with respect to phi is equal to r sine theta times the phi component of the gradient. And so um, we solve for the phi component of the gradient and we get this, okay? And so the gradient operator in polar coordinates then looks like r hat times the partial of your function with respect to r plus theta hat times 1 over r, the partial with respect to theta, plus phi hat, 1 over r sine theta, partial with respect to phi. Okay. And um, here's another step I'm going to skip. Um, with this definition, it can be shown that the, um, that del dot f, okay, uh, so again, f is just some function, so del dot f is equal to 1 over r squared partial with respect to r times the quantity r squared times the r component of f plus 1 over r sine theta partial with respect to theta of the quantity uh, the, the theta component of the function times sine theta plus 1 over r sine theta partial with the partial of f of the, the phi component of f with respect to phi okay and so if we if our function f is just equal to the gradient of f, um, then this is what we get for the um, Laplace operator. Del squared f is equal to this expression here.